Japan is not a big country, but we have many things. Mountains, forests, waterfalls. Many foreigners didn't expect that Japan is so mountainous, but actually 80% of Japan is mountain. Mountains are very special for us. Nakasendo literally means central mountain road. The Nakasendo Way is a old highway that links Kyoto and Tokyo. Walking through Nakasendo Way itself is to trace the Japanese history because you walk on this 300 years old trail and you stay at 200 years old inn and you meet local people who knows the past. My name is Takuya Ugajin and I work for a company called Walk Japan. We run walking trips all over Japan. I'm a tour leader and I develop walking tours. The thing I love in guiding is this combination of walking and traveling together because that's the best way to learn things. The first time I walked Nikusendo, I was very surprised that part of Japan still exists. And that was, for me, was almost like a um, typical Japanese folktale, yeah. Kyoto is a perfect place to start your Nakasendo Way walking trip. Kyoto is very easy to, to access and is a great place to stroll. Everywhere you find some beautiful things, you can spend a week very, very easily. So now we're in Nakatsugawa town. This is a great place to start your journey, not too far from Kyoto. As you can see, the houses are more modern and the road is paved, but the locals, they paved in more distinctive way so that hikers can identify and follow. So now we're looking at the uh, entrance of Kiso Valley, which is the heartland of Nakasendo Way. On the right-hand side, very distinctive red big bridge, that is the modern Nakasendo Way. Walking Nakasendo taught me especially how Japan became modernized. The Nakasendo Way is the, the, really the beginning of this uh, modernization. Infrastructure, trading, also tourism, because a lot of people start traveling for pleasure. It's an interesting link to the past. So we're walking on this uh, Ochiai stone pavement. It's called Ishidatami. This stone pavement is about 300 to 350 years old. And this is exactly what the old Nakasando way would have looked like. We are at the end of the day, in front of this lovely family running in, Shinchaya literally means new tea house. And we're going to have great local experience here. The father grows a fantastic feast. All the ingredients are from his garden and also uh, his, from his rice field. And it's really fantastic. <laughs> その心の味を知ってもらうためにそういうことをしてるんですけどあのなるべくなるべく自分でね作って取ったものをお客さんに提供してあの行こうかということが始まりなんですよね Now we are approaching to Magome, which is the 26th post town out of 69, counting from Kyoto. The post town is a town where travelers used to stop and stay the night along Nakasendo Way. There are 69 of them. Here, this lady 
uh, selling gohei mochi, which is the special delicacy in this region, central Japan. Uh, it's a miso paste with a little bit of walnut, crushed walnut, and then she grills it. I love it. Uh, this is country taste. It is a bit rainy, but not too bad. We continue on our journey. Okay, now I'm going to take you to a tea house that's been helping Nakasendo Way travelers for the last 250 years. ま、江戸時代の中期以降なんですけども、ま、当時はあのこの辺り7軒ほどうちがあって、ま、何軒かティーハウス、お茶屋さんだったんですね。で、ここもそこの1軒だったんです。で、そのちょっとちょうど宿